Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has already rolled out the Moment 1 and Moment 2 feature updates for Windows 11 version 22H2. And as I have been posting recently, we are expecting to get the Moment 3 update rolling out very soon. And that will bring the third wave of new features, which we are expecting to see roll out as soon as next week. Um... Uh, which will be the last week of May, and that will also progress in then to the month of June. And that's because, as I have posted, and I'll leave a link to that video down below, that Microsoft um, is already finalizing the Moment 3 update in the Release Preview channel in the Insider program, which uh, is the final stages of testing before it's rolled out to the stable channel and version. So we are expecting to get Moment 3 very soon. Now, Microsoft is also working on Moment 4 which is also known as the Windows 11 23H2 feature update. The 23 stands for the year it's released, and the H2 means it's getting released in the second half of the year. So we are expecting the next so-called feature update for Windows 11 22H2 to roll out in September and or October of this year, which will bump the version up to version 23H2. Now, in regards to version 23H2, some interesting new information has come to light which um, has recently been spotted once again by the Windows enthusiast um, Phantom Ocean 3 um, over on Twitter, who has uh, noticed that Microsoft has recently released an internal build with a new build number. And this new build is based basically on a very similar build uh, for Windows 11 version 22H2. And it means that because of this, that the next feature update will be used um, and will be updated using an enablement package. So it looks like that the next feature update for Windows 11 will take on a very similar shape and form to the Windows 10 feature updates, which recently have all rolled out, as many of you may know, using a small enablement package. Now, none of this has been confirmed by Microsoft, but nonetheless, does kind of segue into what I have been talking about um, over the last couple of months about up and coming future versions of Windows and the Windows operating system. Now, um, uh, enablement packages, as many of you may know, they don't bring too many new features. So Windows 11, uh, the feature update to version 23H2 later this year, um, according to these findings um, that I've just mentioned, um, indicate that we are not going to get any major new features. So Moment 3 could be the, the final major feature update for Windows 11. And all an enablement package does is basically it might roll out very minor um, feature updates, but we won't expect to see major feature updates. And all an enablement package really does is move the version up from version 22H2 to version 23H2 because Moment updates don't change the version, they only change the build number. So this is interesting. And um, also because Microsoft hasn't actually mentioned too much about the um, 23H2 feature update, they've been keeping very quiet. And um, this means that it will could possibly be a small update that will install very similar to a monthly cumulative update, i.e. an enablement package, and will bump up the version only to from version 22H2 to version 23H2. Now, um, this also obviously indicates that version 23H2 will be a smaller update, very similar to what we get over on Windows 10, and will install very quickly like enablement packages are known to do. And that's because it won't be bringing any major new features. Now, um, just to kind of put this all into context and, the, and context for today's video. So this means that Moment 3 could be the final feature update. 23H2 will just move the version up from version 22H2 to 23H2, which means, as I have been posting um, previously, Microsoft could be already pre pre be preparing Windows for Windows 12, which, as I have posted previously, we could be expecting to see rollout in the second half of next year, 2024, although none of this has been confirmed um, by Microsoft, but there are a lot of reports now that are kind of lining up, which are moving and indicating in that direction, that because Moment 4, i.e. known as the 23H2 feature update for Windows 11, will be a small, a, will be um, updated using a small enablement package, means that Microsoft could be already focusing on Windows 12. And if you want more information, 
Um, just do a search on the channel for Windows 12 if you want more info regarding that. And as mentioned, Windows 12 then would be our big feature update rolling out in the second half of 2024. But always just keep in mind, although there are a lot of rumors and a lot of reports that are lining up, Microsoft has never confirmed any of this. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.